In the northwestern desert of China, hundreds of new advanced technological devices, known as desert monsters, have been deployed to combat one of the world's most pressing environmental challenges, desertification. These machines aren't science fiction creations, they're advanced technological devices designed to improve soil structure, retain rainwater, and increase soil moisture perfect conditions for fostering plant growth. These devices do more than just enhance agriculture. They have the power to transform 100,000 acres of desert land into a thriving oasis in just a year, working at a pace of 400 acres per day. When Saudi Arabian engineers, who are experts in desert control, learned of these achievements, they were astounded. China's approach has introduced a fresh perspective on global desert management. In this video, we'll dive deep into how these machines work and the extraordinary results they have achieved. If you find this content interesting, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss more exciting content. Now, let's begin today's topic. Human activities have greatly accelerated the process of desertification, causing deserts to expand at an alarming rate. Currently, about one-third of the world's land has turned into desert, creating significant challenges for human survival and development. Desertification is like a silent monster relentlessly consuming valuable land. This phenomenon not only jeopardizes food and water supplies, but also disrupts the global ecological balance, necessitating comprehensive and sustainable solutions. Picture a once fertile landscape now reduced to barren sand dunes under the harsh grip of the desert. Vast green fields, once the site of bountiful harvests, have become a thing of the past. Herds of livestock that once roamed freely now struggle daily to find food in the arid sands. The despair is evident in the eyes of the herders as they witness their lands being swallowed by the desert. As deserts expand, the scarcity of forest resources worsens, forcing local people to cut down more trees, creating a vicious cycle with no end in sight. Every tree felled increases pressure on the environment, speeding up desertification and threatening entire ecosystems. This is a battle that demands strong, sustainable interventions to halt and reverse the process, protecting our future and that of generations to come. Countries worldwide are intensifying efforts to combat desertification, with China achieving significant and globally recognized successes. One of the most notable examples is in the Muis Desert, where people have employed a method of laying grid-shaped straw mats. This technique not only stabilizes the sand effectively, but also reduces wind erosion and desertification, slowing the desert's expansion and creating favorable conditions for vegetation restoration. After decades of effort, over 6 million acres of sandy land in the Muis Desert have been managed, with 80% transformed into ecological oases. In the Tanker Desert, biological desert control technology has been applied, offering an environmentally friendly and sustainable solution. This technology improves soil quality and promotes vegetation restoration by enhancing the symbiotic relationship between microorganisms and plants. These methods are not only effective in controlling desertification, but also pave the way for new approaches to desert management globally. China has not rested on its laurels in the fight against desertification. By February 2024, they introduced a revolutionary desert control tool the Jumong 301, also known as the Desert Monster. This device integrates advanced technology with 80 sand fixing machines, 30 automatic seeders, and various track vehicles and sand spreaders, making it highly adaptable to desert environments. The Jumong 301 can perform multiple tasks quickly and efficiently. During the sand stabilization phase, it can evenly spray sand fixing agents in a short time stabilizing loose sandy soil and creating ideal conditions for plant growth. Test data shows that its effectiveness in stabilizing sand is 10 times greater than that of manual methods, significantly shortening the processing cycle. When it comes to tree planting, the Jumong 300 and one's automatic seedling planter can precisely place seedlings into the soil, ensuring a survival rate of up to 97% thanks to its intelligent control system. 
Compared to traditional manual methods, its efficiency has increased by nearly 90%, significantly accelerating the greening process. The Jumong 301 is also equipped with track vehicles and sand barrier spreaders, enabling it to move freely in the desert and quickly transport equipment and materials. The spreading of sand barriers not only aids in management, but also effectively combats wind and sand intrusion, contributing to efficient desert control. In April 2024, during a field experiment in the Kabuki Desert, the Jumong 300 and one showcased its powerful and versatile sand control capabilities. Equipped with over 30 different mechanical devices, it planted 159 sakura trees in just 20 minutes, covering an acre demonstrating a significant improvement in work efficiency. Remarkably, the Jumong 301 can plant trees over an area of up to 2,000 acres in a single day. Additionally, it can simultaneously perform seedling cutting and sand barrier spreading using flat sand nets and vertical seedling planting. This versatility allows the Jumong 301 to handle up to 400 acres of tasks daily when utilizing these machine combinations. These capabilities not only optimize work efficiency, but also bring tremendous benefits in restoring and developing desertified areas transforming them into regions with higher ecological and economic potential. The remarkable performance of the Jumong 300 and one has sparked a wave of astonishment among the engineering community in Saudi Arabia. They were particularly impressed to learn that a group of these devices could manage over 300 acres of desert daily, meaning that 100,000 acres of desert land could be converted into a vibrant oasis within a year a significant advancement compared to traditional methods. Saudi Arabia, a country with 860,000 square kilometers of desert accounting for 40% of its total land area, has experimented with many solutions to combat desertification. These measures include planting vegetation, constructing sand barriers, implementing drip irrigation systems, and planting drop-resistant trees. However, due to poor soil, lack of water, and harsh climate. Many seeds could not grow, leading to failures and making engineers realize that traditional methods were no longer effective. The demonstrated effectiveness of the Jumong 301 offers new hope for Saudi Arabia and other countries facing severe desertification. These advanced, automated solutions not only improve the speed and scale of desert restoration projects, but also reduce reliance on large human resources and financial investment in traditional methods. They enhance ecological resilience and improve the quality of living environments in desert areas. Imagine a future where the barren deserts of Saudi Arabia are transformed into fertile oases, where the cultivation of wheat and other crops becomes abundant. With the deployment of China's Jumong 300 and One Desert Monster Machines, Saudi Arabia has the potential to convert at least 10% of its desert area into ecological land within the next five years. Saudi agricultural officials predict that greening 10% of the desert could increase food production by at least 20%, significantly reducing dependence on food imports. Moreover, these new desert oases could become tourist hotspots, attracting visitors to experience the marvels of nature amidst golden sand dunes and lush green vegetation. If realized, Saudi Arabia's tourism revenue could increase by at least 30%. Other countries are taking notice of China's breakthrough with the Jumong 300 and One Desert Monsters. Nations facing severe desertification, such as Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Australia, have expressed keen interest in these advanced machines. Saudi Arabia, in particular, sees tremendous potential in using these devices to convert vast desert areas into fertile land. Saudi engineers have acknowledged that traditional methods of desert control have often fallen short due to harsh climate conditions and poor soil quality. The Jumong 301 success has sparked discussions on potential collaboration, with Saudi officials considering the deployment of these machines to achieve their ambitious goals of greening the desert and boosting agricultural output. In Africa, countries like Namibia and Algeria are also closely watching China's progress, 
with hopes of adopting similar technologies to combat their own desertification challenges. Meanwhile, environmental experts in Europe are praising the innovation, viewing it as a game-changer in global efforts to address land degradation and climate change. They emphasize that the success of these machines could lead to more sustainable land management practices worldwide, potentially reversing the impacts of desertification on a global scale. The international community is eager to see how China's technology can be adapted and implemented in different regions facing similar challenges. China's success with the technological desert monsters has demonstrated immense potential in combating desertification worldwide. What do you think about this development? Leave your comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to support us. Goodbye, and see you in the next video.